and then. Good morning. Today's power of scripture comes from Job 1 verse 17. Before this man finished, still another messenger rushed in. Three bands of Chaldeans have driven off your camels and killed your servants, and I alone have escaped to tell you. Poor Job was bombarded with bad news after bad news. Before one servant had the opportunity to completely report all that was dismally happening within Job's household, yet another calamity was on its heels. Each servant was frantic to tell Job of the disasters they had witnessed and that they alone barely escaped with their lives to report back to him. Recently, I have heard from family and friends from the four corners of the country about how the slings and arrows of misfortune have been constantly aimed in their direction. We will not give Satan any publicity, but we do know that he is busy, busy, busy running to and fro, stirring up trouble. Before one bill can be paid, another greater expense mounts around us. Just when you think you have one thing figured out, then something else goes wrong. As soon as you get the transmission fixed, then the cooling system goes out. As soon as you think you have one child back on track, then the other one goes cuckoo bananas. God reminds us in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18, to rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Regardless of the pattern or the uncanny circumstances that are surrounding your daily walk with God, stay steadfast in your faith. Yes, if it's true, for some of us, tragedy, disagreement, chaos, and frustration seems to be a norm. We might not be able to function wholly in the modern times because our truth really lies in the will and the word of God. If we rejoice always, we don't have time for despair and depression. The simplicity of his power is just awesome. A simple thank you can open doors of hope and shut windows of downheartedness. God reminds us that he is still on the throne and that nothing is ever outside of his watchful eye. God does not slumber nor sleep. And aren't you glad that God never has an aha moment? Nothing comes as a surprise to God or catches him off guard. We get caught up quite often. We fix the dishwasher and then the pipes burst. We expensively service our car engine and then we find out we need new brakes. One bad issue following another. And then, and then, and then. Although you might feel as if things are just mounting up and piling up all around you, relax and then consider your options. Praise, prayer, and giving thanks. When you take your hands off of your problem, then God will put his hands in it to win it. Every day is a good day. It is up to us to make it a power-filled, great day. Be blessed, Dr. Joanne.